coming off the home turn they've won to jump under fine beauty from day day and early beach on the inside and as they come now towards the final flight under fine beauty hard pressed now by early beach on the near side as they come down towards the final flight and early beach and paul town have come through to grab the advantage over the last and early beach has raced right away has gone readily away now from under fine beauty and up towards the finish early beach remains unbeaten here at kilbegan with a comeback victory by seven or eight lengths under fine beauty second third place is abby magic then day day lady quill coming off the home turn they've won to jump under fine beauty from day day and early beach on the inside and as they come now towards the final flight under fine beauty hard pressed now by early beach on the near side as they come down towards the final flight and early beach and paul town have come through to grab the advantage over the last and early beach has raced right away has gone readily away now from under fine beauty and up towards the finish early beach remains unbeaten here at kilbegan with a comeback victory by seven or eight lengths under fine beauty second third place is abby magic then day day lady quill Racing round the home turn now. One flight to jump. William de Burnley, Jody McGarvey, joined by Milo and Jack Kennedy. Two lengths to Lady of Foot, Lorgan, Dylan Robinson, who's not out of it. Straightening now for the final flight. The leader just on the rail is William de Burnley in the centre of the nose band. Milo, Lady of Port Lorgan, races up to them on the near side as they come now towards the final flight. Lady of Port Lorgan landed with the lead from William de Burnley and Myra and running up to the last 50 yards. Lady of Port Lorgan. Dylan Robinson go on to win by two lengths. William de Burley second. Straightening now for the final flight. The leader just on the rail is William de Burley in the centre of the nose band. Myro, Lady of Port Lorga, races up to them on the near side as they come now towards the final flight. Lady of Port Lorga landed with the lead from William de Burley and Myro and running up to the last 50 yards. Lady of Port Lorga and Dylan Robinson go on to win by two lengths. William de Burley second and Myro in third. A long way clear of early leader inter-county star in turn clear from Norton. Coming down to the final flight now, Floral Fantasy, the white cap, pressed by Chitu, come here high, trying to come through between them as walkabout is having to switch as Chitu leads at the final flight now. Come here high on the near side of Walkabout. 100 yards to go. Cheeto from Come Here High. There's a length between them as they go to the finish. Cheeto wins from Come Here High. Walkabout third. Then Floral Fantasy Mystical two. And Mr. Piketty ahead of Draycott Place and Supreme Benning. Coming down to the final flight now. Floral Fantasy, the white cap. Pressed by Chitu, come here high, trying to come through between them as Walkabout is having to switch as Chitu leads at the final flight now. Come here high on the near side of Walkabout. 100 yards to go. Cheeto from Come Here High. There's a length between them as they go to the finish. Cheeto wins from Come Here High. Walkabout third. Then Floral Fantasy Mystical two. And Mr. Piketty ahead of Draycott Place and Supreme Benny. Machine James from Sounds of Thunder. High Nelly now is dropping off them. Then Perry Hill is running on from the back point of rescue. Racing to the final flight, Oshin James and Rachel Blackmore now pressed by Sounds of Thunder and Connor Brasson on the near side. They're going to rise the final flight together. On the race away from it now. Sounds of Thunder on the near side of Oshin James. They're head to head as they go to the line. Oshin James on the inside of Sounds of Thunder. They've put it on the judge, also close third and fourth. Point of rescue and Shackley's done and then Penny Hill. Machine James from Sounds of Thunder. High Nelly now is dropping off them. Then Perry Hill is running on from the back point of rescue. Racing to the final flight, Oshin James and Rachel Blackmore now pressed by Sounds of Thunder and Connor Brasson on the near side. They're going to rise the final flight together. On the race away from it now. Sounds of Thunder on the near side of Oshin James. They're head to head as they go to the line. Oshin James on the inside of Sounds of Thunder. They've put it to the judge, also close third and fourth. Point of rescue and Shackley's done and then Perry Hill. Cecil Corbett and Keith Dunhu come to the last. 
over the last nine, safely over on the run-up for the final 200 yards of Cecil Corbett out in front of Banjo, who has accepted defeat, clear from Matthew Bob and Dulock Lan and running to the line. It's Cecil Corbett who wins, pushed out, Banjo second, and then there's a furlong back to Admiral Bob and Dulock Lan. Just the four finishers. Cecil Corbett and Keith Donahue who comes to the last over the last now and safely over on the run-up for the final 200 yards at Cecil Corbett out in front of Banjo who has accepted defeat clear from Atfield Bob and Dulock Lan and running to the line it's Cecil Corbett who wins pushed out Banjo second and then there's a furlong back to Admiral Bob and Dulock Lan just the four finishers And Tonsa, Jack and Jonathan Moore have come through now to hit Tom Hong and Philip in right with Caddy Ganove still plugging away in third place for Manny Gersley. These three are clear, but Tonsa Jack has kicked clear now off the turn, racing towards the final fence. It's Tonsa Jack and Jonathan Moore out in front, chased by Caddy Ganove and then Tom Hong. Final fence now in the Midlands National and safely over as Tonsa Jack from Caddy Ganove. A bad mistake in third place by Tom Horn, but it's Tulsa Jack who is clear running up towards the finish and is going to add another national to his career as Tulsa Jack wins for Jonathan Moore, no lead on the Grand Alliance Racing Club. Final fence now in the Midlands National and safely over as Tulsa Jack from Caddy Ganove, a bad mistake in third place by Tom Horn, but it's Tulsa Jack who is clear running up towards the finish and is going to add another national to his career as Tulsa Jack wins for Jonathan Moore, no lead on the Grand Alliance Racing Club. Second is Caddy Ganove and in third place Tom Horn followed home by Kai Crew, Duckweed, Nocanari and Cantlo Gold Patrol and Ravish, the others pulled up. Racing towards the final 200 yards from Barahuni, who's trying to close on the near side, then Mother's Best, Charlie Keegan, new start from the back ahead of Kilbarry Mandy. 100 yards to go, Willems Warrior and Damien Skeen kept going three lengths clear as they run to the finish. Willems Warrior wins the bumper. Second is Barahuni, then Mother's Best, Tariq Geek, new start, and they're clear from Kilbarry Mandy. Racing towards the final 200 yards from Barahuni, who's trying to close on the near side, then Mother's Best, Tariq Geek, and new start from the back ahead of Kilbarry Mandy. 100 yards to go. Willems Warrior and Damien Skeen kept going three lengths clear as they run to the finish. Willems Warrior wins the bumper. Second is Barahuli, then Mother's Best, Tariq Geek, new start, and they're clear from Kilbarry Mandy.